Hello again Nature Artists. Right, this is week two of our 12 week programme. I am on my fourth attempt to film this video. Um, so, <laughs> let's, let's see how we go. We are mark making today. And you'll see I've made lots of marks today because um, that's what I was doing now to my test runs. I've filmed this four times. So, I'm gonna show you, there's a few of our things that I've done this morning. And I've done these all with things I've found around the house. So I've gone out this morning, around the house, in the recycling and found a few things to make some marks with. So all I've got here is I've got some um, Indian ink mixed with um, some purple acrylic paint. I have no black paint here for some reason and um, I thought I had so I'm just making it up as I go along and I've added a little bit of water to it as well just to make it a little bit looser. And I've got loads of prints that I've done and they're scattered all over the floor. And here are some, here are some circles that I've done using toilet roll tubes. So, and this one here, I'll show you this one here first. This is a fish slice that I've used. So let's pop the prints behind me. And so I've had a stack of paper here this morning, which I have, I have been going through quite rapidly. Let's do the fish slice. I did a lovely video just a minute ago. I say I filmed it um, four times, but I haven't pressed play. So I think that was the best one. So there we go. So I'm just dipping that in the paint, or you can brush the paint on, or if you've got um, one of those little radiator rollers, which I actually use, um, you can roll the paint on. And I'm just... This one here, I'm just adding. I'm using a bit of paint there. Press that down with my fingers. I've got these really nice marks. Now, what I could also do is stagger them so I could go over and add. And these lines are really nice, actually. What I might do is just put the end in. You can add in. Some lines. So these make nice marks as well. So that's fish slice again. And then I'm going to show you my trusty toilet rolls. These are a little bit warm because I have used them a lot this morning. Um, so they've squished down. So the lines are quite thick. So if I just show you these, different makes and manufacturers have different size tubes, so it's quite, this is a larger tube, so I'm just going to add these. And then this one here is a, a smaller diameter. I'll use this one with a fresh one. Doing them in between, overlapping them. You can do them inside. go on and on with those so they're really nice ones actually and for anything like my household they're, they're always ready readily available and the other thing I did with them is there's one that I prepared earlier there it is is I squished some other ones through the center so you get this little pattern random patterns there you go now another. I've used potato prints so I've just cut potato in half and then I've cut I've because I came in today 
thinking in the studio today, thinking oh, I'll do um, just do stripes that I found. I really like the toilet roll tubes. So be really careful cutting, especially if you're in the house on your own. I found them because they've got so much water content in there, but slippy today when I was cutting bits out. So it doesn't come out as easily as you sort of imagine. It's a really nice pattern there, and I could go over the top with these. The other thing you can do is if I cut that in half and used the, a plain half to put a print a colour on, and then cut out and then print it a different colour over the top, that would be quite nice as well. I'm going to pop all my I'll take some photographs of some of the things I've done this morning and pop them on the Creative Gym page so you can have a look. And this is another, oh, a bit of a smudge there. As you can see, it's a different, as the paint comes off, sometimes you get a nicer image. Just going over the top there. I can make different patterns like that now different patterns like that this is one that i did earlier and this is with forks so i'll get my fork out um i've got lots of forks all different sizes shapes and then what i've done here i've just played with patterns this one I've bent it this morning I've used it quite a lot so it's, it's kind of bent I think let's find another one oh, they're not very clear either Put them over the top of each other. Um, some Mark Peterson ones I did earlier. It's different to the whole fork, and then just the. And here I dragged the line. So all different things you can play with making these lines. Right, they're gone. So these are this. I've just done these with. Oh, is this one? How do you use this one? It's the longer one. Um, I've done this with, um, as you can see, a toothpaste tube box, but a piece of wood actually would probably, if you've got some, would work a little bit better in the fact that I can't put very much pressure on this centre. I've been found I've been printed a lot with it this morning and I can't get the pressure on the centre as I can on the edges. So I'm just going to dip that in. Different yarns will have different effects. So this is um, just acrylic yarn and there's a bit of a blurred edge so I'm just going to put that there and then I'm going to put that one there and then I'm just going to build up a pattern by alternating where I press these and then that way that way and that way also this is, I've actually got three, um, sorry, four different um, prints that I could get out from this if I wanted to um, because they've all been where I've wound the um, yarn round. So it sort of gives these different um, patterns. And you can do this really, really tightly. So you have them really, really tight next to each other or much sparser. Um, and you can have several of these and try different ones, which may be quite fun. Then what else have I got here? Right, I'll show you. This is um, cotton buds. And I thought when I did this, I've stuck these to a box. I've turned some masking tape back to front and then stuck the cotton buds on. And I thought I'd have these lovely lines. I mean, they've got a little bit messier because I've been used a lot this morning, but um, lovely lines. But I haven't because the cotton wool is raised higher than the um, cardboard stem. 
So we're just getting the ends. But what I'm finding is quite nice is you get these marks here. Which are quite fun. And also, you can actually sort of draw with them. Should you wish to. So... They're quite good because they um the cotton wool soaks up the paint so they go on for a bit. So that's quite nice. And I could play a bit more with that. Overlay those and overlay these onto um other prints. Yeah, don't be frightened um to go over the top um so try different marks over the top of other marks and see what you think right well that's your mission for this week should you choose to accept um, hang on to them it'll be great if you could you know if you wanted to share them with me as well but um so creative gym facebook page you can post things up to there email me um for those of you who, and just let me see what you've been up to that would be great also um hang on to them because we might be using them in subsequent weeks because you might need some things to tear up and scribble over in other things that we do and these are quite nice to have and also you know i'm i mean I'll, i will go through and it'll be a record of marks that i like and don't like um but we might use them so hang on and the last thing i wanted to say is this morning i watched the grace and perry art club it was very very good um if you haven't watched it um have a little look and catch up something's just fallen over behind me um um he's got a really good attitude to art uh, about being creative actually and about just letting go and just enjoying it and relaxing which is what i quite like um so have a little look at that right, thank you very much I'm going to stand on my chair now. Hopefully I've, I've pressed record on this video. And then um, I'm going to turn it off. And it will be another uh, session next week.